Hey friends, Nancy here, coming to you from the RV, and I've noticed that Bill and I are starting to have some little gnat issues and some fruit flies, and I do not like to have that inside the RV. So today we are going to try out something new. We are going to try out the Zebo. It kills on contact, and it's safe around pets, and it's safe to use around the home. In small spaces in the RV, it's a small space. There's humans in it, and there's pets in it. So today we are going to try it out, and I'm going to tell you exactly does it work? Does it not work? Stick around. Does it kill on contact? We are going to discuss those bugs and gnats that like to stick around in our RV bathrooms. All of us know that when you're RVing with your tanks, there are some times that you're gonna have bugs either coming up from the outside or the tank, whatever the case may be. And the gnats are just a pain. Nobody likes to have bugs anywhere in the house. And most of us have pets. So I was looking for something that I could use indoors. It is a small space, it's a RV bathroom. It's This is, this is it. It's the length of my arms. I'm not going to give you the mentions. It's just small, okay? It's small. Zebo insect killer. Fly, gnat, and fruit fly. Kills on contact. Safe for use around people and pets. No chemical odor and no messy residue. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reason that I decided to pick it because it's non-toxic and because I have animals and my puppies come in the bathroom and I don't want any mishaps with poison. But I also wanted to get this on video because I didn't know if I was going crazy. I didn't know. I came in here and I sprayed and I had a whole bunch of them. I sprayed, they fell down, done. I'll come back, clean it up. Come back in, they zombified, y'all. They zombified. I come back in and they're like flying again and they're on the top. And I sprayed them. I mean, I like, I, I did a good spray. There is no way. There's no way they were zombified and kept. I sprayed again. And here I am. So I decided to grab the camera and do this little experiment again with the Zebo and see if it actually it is true that it does kill on contact because so far right now it has not worked for me killing on contact. So let's give it a whirl. Now I'm going to spray. It's gonna get loud so I'm gonna have to turn the fan on. And I guess while we are right here, something about this Zebo, this smell to me, smells like medicine. Like, I don't know, like a minty moss ball. Ugh. I just, I can't pinpoint the smell, I just, I don't like it. I like the smell of Raid better. Okay, let's do this experiment, okay? We're gonna go ahead and spray and it's supposed to be in contact. And we'll wait a few minutes and then we'll come back and see if they actually died or if they became zombified. And then we will rate this product accordingly. Here we go. Okay, 
But get closer. You have to get closer because you have to look up there. Come on. There you go. Here's the second part. They fall down dead. Okay. I have 11.49. Let's give it, I don't know, two minutes or so. Some of them are still walking around in there and some of the other ones look dead. Okay friends, the zombification has begun. So I was not crazy. This product to me does not kill them all. Claims kills on contact. You also we made contact. Now let's see the zombification. Oh and it's been half an hour since I spray. You're gonna see. But on the top, the zombified ones that fell down and regained consciousness. Are back to their nefarious ways in my RV. The rest didn't make it. It was a 50-50 chance, I guess, for them. That is too many for a spray that claims that kills on contact. And y'all saw me, I sprayed and they're back no chemical odor and no messy residue no chemical odor so how do you explain the minty moss balls like it's minty it's not chemical but moss balls Let's do another comparison, shall we? Since I have the raid, let me go and get it and we will do a spray with that. Same thing, we will come back after a few minutes and see if the zombified ones came back to life or if raid is going to be the winner. On camera, I sprayed them, y'all saw, and some of them are back, some of them they didn't make it. Before I grabbed the camera, I actually sprayed them three times and after the zombification of the third time I said no no I, I gotta tell my viewers I gotta tell y'all about the zombification and tell you all about this product one of the things that I do not like is bugs inside my RV it just it comes with the territory yes we travel we're in the wilderness it's an RV it's gonna happen but me particularly, I do not like to have gnats or flies. Number one, it looks ugly. Number two, it makes it look like your place is not clean and, and that I don't like. Let me go get the raid. I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to wait here in the shower. You're just gonna have to wait here in the shower with the gnats while I go get it. Now that we know that you have to spray three times with this, to maybe kill them all, we are going to spray once with this, with the same nets, and see the results that we get. And then I'm going to tell you guys which one works best in your RV. I am going to use the Raid House and Garden, which this one was my go-to, but Zebo came out saying it kills some contact and is safe to use around the home and around pets which was the reason that I bought it. Let's spray and then we'll see if Raid lets them become zombified. I 
am back. Okay, friends, it had been one minute. Actually, I think Ray is going to be the winner. Let me show you. There's only one left, barely hanging on. I don't think he's gonna make it. But look. Zebo specified for gnats and flies did not do a good job in the RV this time around, which is quite disappointing because they like said that is the reason that I bought it because it's safe for pets and it's safe to use indoors, but it is not effective. It is effective to the point that you have to use it several times to get the job done and I don't want to do that. I want one spray and go. I think I'm going to give Zevo three and a half TBL stars because Number one, I had to apply it multiple times to achieve the maximum effect. And number two, this is just personal, just personal, but I was not too keen on the smell. It was medicine-y with a touch of mothball to me. It was not, I understand, it's poison. It's not supposed to be pleasant. I understand that. It's just my opinion. The smell, it's not... I didn't like it. So three and a half out of five stars. I'm sorry, Zeebo. I wish you would've worked better. That's the reason that I bought you. But we can still be friends though. No hard feelings, Zeebo? Okay. All right, Zeebo, and a good boy. You need a huggy? Okay. This one, this one really worked. This one worked and it actually had like a, a lemony flavor. That's what I'm saying. I actually like the smell of Raid. I know that's bad. And this video is not sponsored by Raid. I have been your host, Nancy, with TBL in my kitchen. Let me know in the comments below what you use to control the bugs inside your RV. Do you have something better than my Zebo and my Raid that you would recommend? Let me know because I'd be interested in trying it out. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I love you so much. And also consider becoming a member of the channel. It really helps the channel out. It makes us happy and it allows the channel to bring you all sorts of wonderful content. And gives us the ability to keep on creating for you. Thank you so much. I am your host, Nancy. And a special thank you to you, our channel members that have been supporting the channel for so long. Thank you so much. We love you and appreciate you. Oh, and thank you all for the super thanks. Or maybe the poison is not potent enough. Maybe it just knocks their ass out or something. <laughs> we can't see it on YouTube. Can we? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Knock their butt off with Zeebo. <laughs> okay, let's make the coffee. We'll go back and check. The zombification. <laughs> It'll be my luck. It'll be my luck. They were zombified 
and I had to go back there and spray them three times and now that I went through all of this and when the camera and I'm doing this video when I go back in there they're gonna be all dead and they're not gonna be zombified and they're not gonna come back to life and I'm gonna end up looking like a like a fool Zombified. Nats. <laughs> Who would even watch that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I would. Zombified, I don't know, it's got a catchy phrase. Depends on the thumbnail, right? <laughs> What's the thumbnail look like? Comes up though. <laughs>